हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड दैट हाउ टू फाइंड द लीस्ट काउंट ऑफ एमीटर एंड लीस्ट काउंट ऑफ वोल्ट मीटर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी हाउ टू टेक द रीडिंग्स ऑफ करंट एंड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके सो लेट्स आई एम जस्ट आई जस्ट ऑन द स्विच सो सर्किट इज नाउ क्लोज नाउ आई विल टेक रीडिंग्स I will show you how to take readings. You just see on the. I'm just changing the value of rheostat, and rheostat is a variable resistance. You can see the value of voltmeter and ammeter. So you know what is in Ohm law experiment. A current flowing through a conductor is directly proportion proportional to the potential difference applied. Now you can see the needle. When I'm just changing the rheostat, you can find that. Now you see. B is increasing as you can see in the needle also. B is increasing. I is also increasing. So as I am changing, it is increasing. Okay. So now I am just repeating this experiment again. Now we will note down the values that how to take the readings. Now I am just increasing the again increasing the value. Now you I am just find that. M meter is at which division? M meter is at one division, as you can see. Okay, as you can see, a uh, needle is showing division in one. So here I have just draw a table. This is M meter. So M meter is showing division and needle is showing division at one. So one multiply least count and least count of M meter is zero point zero five. And in my previous video, we have find the least count. You can Also watch, so it will become zero point zero five. Now see the voltmeter. So voltmeter uh, deflection the, it is showing in number three. So I will here write it as three into least count of voltmeter is zero point one. So it will be zero point three. Okay, this is our first reading. So how to find resistance? R is equals to V upon I. This is V. This is I, so R is equals to V upon I like V zero point three by zero point zero five. Now we will perform second reading. So I am again just changing the value of radio start. You can see now, now deflection, now current is showing deflection at division number three. So I will write it as ammeter. Three into zero point zero five, and you can see voltmeter is showing. Needle is showing deflection at four. So I will write it as four into least count zero point one. Okay. Next, how to find resistance? We will take three into it. Sorry, V upon I. So it will be four into zero point one will be zero point four upon three into zero point zero five. Okay, we will find the values later. What is the value of resistance? Now we will take the third reading. I am again just changing the values. You just start. You can see. Now, again note down the values. Now, m meter is showing deflection at division number five. So I will write it as five into zero point zero five. Okay, and volt meter is showing deflection at Number six. So I will write it as six into zero point zero. Sorry, zero point one, which will be zero point six. So the resistance in this case will be V upon I zero point six into zero point zero five into five. Now we will take the last reading, fourth reading. Fourth reading will be now I am just again, again changing the value of free start. So it. Again increases now. You can see the current is showing. Ammeter is showing deflection at point five. So I will write it as zero point five into least count zero point one. Sorry, it's ammeter reading. So I have to write it at ammeter. It's zero point five into zero point one. So next voltmeter reading is showing deflection at number twelve. So I will write it as. Twelve into least count zero point one, and in this case resistance will be V upon I twelve into zero point one upon zero point five into zero point zero five. 
it is 0.05 because least count of ammeter is 0.05 and least count of voltmeter is 0.1 so we have four resistance now to find the now we have to find the mean resistance okay so how to find mean resistance this is r1 this is r2 this is r3 this is r4 so by finding the values of all this r1 r2 r3 r4 you will find the mean resistance that is r is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 divided by 4 it will be a mean resistance after finding the mean resistance you have you just have to plot a graph graph between v and i so v potential will be in the x axis it will be volts and current will be in the y axis which measures in ampere and by plotting all the values of r in this graph you will get a straight line okay and you can also find the resistivity as you all know that resistance is directly proportional to l and inversely proportional to area from when we combine these two factors we get r directly proportional to l a and r will be equals to rho l by a so in this experiment we can also find the resistivity of a wire which wire i'm just showing you a wire this wire okay uh, this wire is connected parallel to a voltmeter in my previous video we have studied this circuit diagram you can see okay you can also watch now r is equals to rho l by a so how we can find resistivity so resistivity will become formula of resistivity will be r a upon l so we will put here net resistance r area which is pi r square l length so how can we find the length we can find the length of wire by meter scale okay from this then we can find the value of resistivity okay students thank you